Thank you so much for coming. This is a great day. Thank you for, um, uh, for the opportunity also, uh, Governor, because without you, we would not be here today. So thank you so much. But let me just uh, tell you that for me, any groundbreaking for any educational and or scientific infrastructure is good news. It is, in fact, a strong indicator that we not only care about today, but we care about our future. Today, we are breaking ground for the Optical Science Center for Applied Research. And this is to continue in our path for growth and our path to become an asset for the city of Dover, Kent County, the state of Delaware, the nation, and the world. That's what we're trying to do, and this is one step in that direction. Today, the growth of the optics program at Delaware State University is possible. And it is possible thanks to the, num to the number of people who contribute to that. And they are standing here, and they are many of them, many faculty members, many students who are working very, very hard every day to make this program better and better. But today, we are limited not by our imagination, but our limit is the infrastructure today. And this is one step again to help us move forward in, that, in, in, in becoming a great center, a uh, center that can help both research, both uh, student, uh, students also, and also economic growth in this region. Now, some of you have asked me, uh, even actually walking in here, why optics? Well, let me actually read to you from the 2012, which came about a month ago, report from the National Academy of Sciences. So this is what it says. This is, a, this is so I'm quoting from there. In spite of the maturity of the constituent elements of photonics, it goes on, the field as a whole is likely to experience a period of growth in opportunities and applications that more likely resembles what might be expected of a vibrant young technology. And I think the, the, the report adds, the promise of optics and photonics can be realized if the United States acts now to cultivate this versatile scientific field through collaborative research and development activities, along with coordinated support from the public and private sectors working together. This is one example and one step in that direction. This is a 2012 National Academic Report, part of it. So, this is really helping us move forward. And um, as you heard already, there are phases. So there's phase one is on the left-hand side. Phase two is on the right-hand side over there. And, it's, and when it's finished, the building will be about 70,000 square feet. We worked really, really hard to determine what is actually the area that we need. What labs do we need? Because you can't do this every five years, every 10 years. You want now to actually focus on the science and not to worry about the infrastructure itself. We, sh we want to stop worrying about the infrastructure, but focus on our job. And this 65,000 square feet or 70,000 square feet will actually allow us to do the research that we are dreaming of every day. A lot of people are, are, are doing that. And at the moment, that is the limit, as I said earlier on. We believe, I believe that actually the well-being of the city of Dover, of Kent County, and the state of Delaware has a lot to gain for the dynamic research that's happening and will happen within this building. It is not just academic research. We really want to work with students, with other participants from Dell State and outside of Dell State who wish to create a culture and create companies, high-tech companies with high-paying jobs because we know that is important. We will have facilities that we'll make available to people who want to use them and we just have to work through the details, but that's what we want to do. All of this is possible, as I said, um, only because we have a leadership here in Delaware that understands that we care about the future and cares about the future. I also want to thank today Senator Carper. Because again, a few years ago when we started this, and I want to thank also Peter Walker who was standing there, who was at DuPont at that time, when we started this, Nobody really thought that it, had, it will be where it is, or actually maybe very few people thought that. It was small, but we said it will have a big impact. And I think today we're proud to say that we are, we're probably um, way on our way to have a big impact uh, in the state and outside of the state.